Welcome back. Uh, as promised, today we're going to improve the handle on our hatchet. Um, I think I might put a little bit better edge on it as well and kind of kind of overall address some cosmetic issues uh, that we have. Not that this is going to be the most beautiful hatchet uh, ever devised uh, when I'm done, but hopefully we'll make some improvements. So without further ado, time to get to work. The objective here is to draw this out uh, into a long, narrow taper, and then I'm going to bend it back on itself and create kind of a loop at the end. Now I want to put a little bit of a backwards curve into it. Not very much, not very much, but just a little. Because of what we're gonna do next. And for this next part, we're going to get to see how well my little homemade hardy tool works. But first I'll get this bend started. Get a twist in there. I could uh, I could really use a proper horn. I need to get my new anvil up, but make do with what we have.
So there it is, the finished hatchet. Uh, that actually turned out better than I was expecting it would. Uh, I really like this. Uh, you know, I had a lot of different ideas for how I might do it, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw that out, and I'm gonna fold the handle back on itself. And I really like the way that turned out. It feels great in my hand. Uh, the balance feels good. It's nice and short, easily packable. Um, I'll need to put a better edge on it, and maybe for some future project, uh, I could think about doing a sheath for this, because it's really, um, you know, that would really be a practical uh, addition to this. But I think, <laughs> all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. Uh, i got to clean it up a little bit. I don't know, though. I like that, that hand-forged look. So I might really, um, I might not do a whole lot with it, but I do want to uh, put a better edge on it, and then uh, I'll roll in some footage of chopping some wood with it. And what else? Um, I guess that's about it. Thanks again so much for joining me, and hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you have any comments, leave the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time. He might be next. Oh, look at that ugly thing. Think I'm gonna make any progress on that? I don't know. We'll see. Get little chunks off of there. Yeah, that's ugly. Yeah, I could use a better edge for sure, but it works pretty well for splitting. So there it is, the final, final version of the hatchet. Uh, I did put a wrap on there, and part of the reason, well, the main reason for that uh, is really just to cushion your hand. This is one continuous piece of steel, okay? And so for that reason, you, f you feel a lot of the energy of the blow is transferred down into your hand. So this gives you the advantage of a little bit extra cushion on your hand, a little bit better grip on it. You know, say your hand gets wet or something, you got a little bit extra grip. And, uh, and then we've got a lanyard here, which is actually pretty functional. Um, I can hang the hatchet from my hand and then grab it when I want it, you know, one-handed. I can do some work. Got to be a little careful doing that because you don't want to wind up hitting yourself with that blade. Uh, and then I should mention that too. Uh, you probably noticed from the video that I rolled in that this blade is not the sharpest thing that ever existed. Um, I did not spend the time I should have to sharpen it up. Part of the reason for that is because when it comes to axes and hatchets, uh, I'm kind of a sissy about, uh, about sharp blades. Uh, but this one I see has a lot of potential. There's a lot of belly in the blade, and it's easy to choke up on, and I think you could actually use this for skinning if you put a proper edge on there, maybe even a hollow grind or something in a real nice sharp edge. So uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take the time to do that. I'm certainly not doing it right now, but um, that might be an idea for a future project is a camp ax plus uh, skinning and butchering knife in one, because I can really see the potential there. So anyway, there it is. Uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great time and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, bye-bye. <laughs>